Hi, this is Dave with Mountain Aromatics. Thank you again for joining me. Today I am going to help you with ethyl maltol. It comes in a powdered form. I'm going to teach you how to put it into the liquid form. So first off, ethyl maltol is very sweet. It's fruity, berry-like, cotton candy, that type of aroma. Um, also sweet um, caramel or caramel, however you say it. Uh, again, it comes in a white powder form. It, its longevity is 360 hours on a test strip and also, I was just going to tell you the weight of it. It's 140. Um, that's the molecular weight. So, here we go. Said I was going to get a scale. Came in the other day. This is what I got. Amazon, about 35 bucks. Which is pretty awesome for the scale of this type. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to try, I'm thinking this out. That's why I'm pausing so much because I want to make it pretty simple. I'm going to turn this this way. Not that you're going to be able to see it. I'm not sure if you can see this or not. More than likely you're not, but I'm going to do it anyway. So what we do is when you're taking the ethyl maltol crystals, making it into a liquid form, the correct ratio is 10% of this to alcohol. There's other powder forms of different ingredients, materials on creatingperfume.com, that's where I get my materials. And there's different ratios and different carriers that you can use because some carriers don't work with some of these. And that's why I'm making this video, is to help you out. So what he did is we want to make a half ounce of the ethyl maltol. So I'm going to just turn this on and I'm going to see that it is 25.5. Um, that's important because now what you want to do is um, you can either tear it now or you can add your liquid. So let's just go ahead and tear it, make it at zero. Then you're going to add your perfumer's alcohol all the way up to about here because you want to leave room for the crystals. So actually I already did that for video's sake. Now I did it without the dropper. So what ended up happening was I got a weight of the alcohol, 10.4 or 10.5. Um, actually, when I did it the first time, the scale, you can breathe on it and it totally changes. It's super sensitive. So I actually got 10.9. That 10.9 of alcohol, that's without the weight of the glass, is 90%. Okay, so we're going to take that off because we have that at 90%. Then we need to do 10% to make up 100%. 10% of this. So I did a few things ahead of time for sake of video. That means 
10% of that is going to be 1.09. Hopefully I'm going to do, be able to make graphics to put on there for you to see that. But that's just going to be 10%, 1.09. So I have the scale comes with this little cup for just this purpose. And I put the cup on here and tear to zero. And then I added 1.09 grams of this on here. And actually, th that is really all there is to it. So I will say, you know, when you're, if you're going to buy crystals and powder and that kind of stuff, you absolutely need a scale. I'm not saying you have to have this one by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a really good scale that has a lot of zeros, so you're really getting a very accurate reading. But you're going to have to have a scale if you're going to do this accurately. Um, so, we will just take this, I'm going to turn this off, move it out of the way. Now all we have to do, we have 90% minus the weight of the glass and 10% of the crystal crystals minus the weight of the little cup. So here what I'm going to do is just put a little funnel in there. We'll drop it in. I can see the crystals going down. Hopefully you can see that as well. And I knew it would probably get stuck in here. But if you tap it, it's working, it's coming out. It's flowing. Yeah. So one other thing you can do that I'm going to do right now is get this alcohol from the top and let it flow. Let me make it where you can see it. Flow and get all of those crystals that are kind of caught or that were caught in this funnel. So there we go. So now we have the 90 and 10. Just put that kind of out of the way. So then another thing, um, Alora, Alora from Drop by Drop, you should check out her channel if you have not already. I'm sure you have. But she taught me this. If you just um, don't squeeze it, but just put the dropper straight in and close it, you'll just have air right in there and then you can shake it up. So this is probably going to take a, a little bit of shaking to do to get the crystals to um, dissolve but I can see already they're starting to dissolve. They're getting smaller but with probably all of these powders you're going to have to work a little bit. They're not super simple. I can tell you the Maltol Natural is one of the hardest ones to work with. Again, some take alcohol and will dissolve in the alcohol. Some take um, IPM. Some It just depends. And so I just haven't found a lot of information out there about how, what to do with it when you get home. What are the ratios? So that's what I'm doing and that's what Alora is doing. She's going to tackle the Maltel Natural. So if you want to head over when I'm done to Drop by Drop, she will probably have that video up today or tomorrow. So again, this is like a caramel it's a sweet um, cotton candy type of material 
And so you can see it's pretty dissolved, but I still have a little bit to go. Like I said, you're going to have to work at this some. It's not super simple, it just doesn't dissolve super easy. But when you're done, you have a 10% solution and you can enjoy this material to go with all of the rest of your stuff and make cool and fun formulas. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful and I will see you on the next video. If you liked this, if you'll please like it and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you very much.